Hello, super kids! It's time to learn about letter E. Uppercase E, lowercase E, uppercase E, lowercase E. E is the sound of eh, 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 or E, E, E. Let's say that again. Eh, 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 or E, E, E. That's right. E is a vowel, and our vowels have two sounds. Let's say our vowels together. A, E, I, O, and U. Super. Let's review some E words. Elbow, elbow, eh, eh, eh. Eyes, eyes, eh, eh, eh. Eel, eel, e, e, e. Eagle, eagle, e, e, e. Empty, empty, eh, eh, eh. Egg, egg, eh, eh, eh. Elephant, elephant, eh, eh, eh. God also gave us Easter, Easter, e, e, e. And we cannot forget our super letter. Can you guess who it is? E is for Elastigirl. Elastigirl, Elastigirl, E, E, E. Elastigirl, Elastigirl, E, E, E. Elastigirl is like elastic. It stretches. Are you ready for the E song? Here we go. Can you sing it with me? Don't forget to use your voice every morning. Every morning, Eloise has hard boiled eggs for breakfast. She never ever eats them fried because boiled eggs are the tastiest. Eloise the elephant thinks that eggs are dandy. She eats 11 every day and says they taste like candy. Let's sing it again. Can you sing with me? Every morning, Eloise has hard-boiled eggs for breakfast. Let's do it. Every morning, Eloise has hard-boiled eggs for breakfast. She never ever eats them fried because boiled eggs are the tastiest. Eloise the elephant thinks that eggs are dandy. She eats 11 every day and says they taste like candy. Super job. Eloise is an elephant. And how many eggs does she eat? 11. 11, 11, 11, a one, a one, I'm done. 11, 11, 11, a one, a one, I'm done. Great job. How do we write 11? A one and a one. Here are the words that we heard in that song. Every Eloise. Why is Eloise an uppercase E? because it's a name and a name always has uppercase as the first letter. When you're practicing your writing, please remember to practice your lower case, especially if you're writing your sight words, because sight words are in the middle of a sentence and the letters need to be lower case. Sometimes they can be tricky, but just do your best and have fun and it will be fantastic. Let's read again. Every Eloise, eggs ever eats elephant and number 11. I'll start with letter E. E is the sound of e, 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 or E, E, E. Short E, eh, long E. Short E, eh, long E. Super job. Next, we're going to learn how to write letter E. Who's ready? Looking at our uppercase E, what line do we need first? Big line down. Here we go. Where do we start our letters? At the top. Big line down. Jump to the top. 
Little line across, little line across, little line across. How many lines do we have there? One, two, three for E. Three for E. Three little lines. Here we go. Big line down, jump to the top. What line is next? A little line. Little line across the top. Little line across the middle. Little line across the bottom. Please remember to count while you do it because if you don't count, we could end up with an E like that. Is that an E, my friends? No, we do not want it to look like that. So make sure that you count. One, two, three. Hey, it's just like our lines here. A big line, a middle line, and a bottom line. How many lines? One, two, three. Three for E. Big line down, jump to the top. Little line across, little line across, little line across. One, two, three for E. Last time. Big line down, jump to the top. Little line, little line, little line. One, two, three for E. Super, that is our uppercase E. Now let's do our lowercase E. Now to do our lowercase E, we're gonna start with this one right here. You're gonna little line to the right. Well, oh, gotta fix my marker. Little line to the right, up and curve like a C. Okay? Always make sure you go to the right when you're writing lowercase e. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Little line across. Then you're going to keep your pencil on the paper and then take it up into a curve. Okay, one more time. Little line across to the right. Push up and into a curve. Very good. Now to do our lowercase e's on the line, we want to start in between the dotted line and the bottom line, okay? So little line across, you're gonna go up, touch the middle, and down to the bottom, okay? Little line across, push up to the middle line, touch it, then take it down to the bottom. Super job, let's keep practicing. Little line across, push up to the middle line, down to the bottom into a curve. Little line across to the right, push up to the middle, take it down to the bottom. Very important that you don't start on that middle line because what does that look like? An uppercase. We don't want it uppercase. Uppercase starts at the top. Lowercase is under that middle line right down there, okay? Just like our E here. You see how lowercase e is under that middle line. It has to be half the size of our uppercase letters. Super job. Do your best. If you get stuck, just remember, go to the right. Then curve up to the left like a letter C. Easy breezy beautiful. Do your best and have fun when you're writing. If you need to take a break, draw something that starts with an E. Draw an oval for an egg, draw an elephant, draw some squiggle lines, take a break, go outside and run around, then come back and practice your E's. You can do anything because you are a super kid. Just have fun and always do your best. Now, time to talk about Numbers, Ooh. our numbers are one, two, three. Letters are A, B, C. And our numbers are 16 and 17. When we're writing 16, we're in the teens, so the first number needs to be A, one. Then a number six, diagonal little curve. To write 17, first a one, then a seven. Little line across to the right, karate jump to the left. You wanna move on to 18. What's the first number? One, then a eight. Curve, 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 curve. 18. Or 
instead of the crazy eight, circle on the top, circle on the bottom. Both are a super number eight. Great job. Let's work on our counting. Grab your fingers, put your hands together, and let's count. Starting with zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Can you count down with me? Eighteen, seventeen, six. 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, more stop! Super counting, everyone. I hope you had a super fun time working on letter E and counting to 18. Let's get to our sight words and make sure that you don't forget share time. Share is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Search around the house. There are so many words that start with letter E. E or E. Short E, long E. Have fun going on a hunt and have some share time with your family. Don't forget to write down those words so that way we can go over them when we're back to school. It'll be soon, I promise. Here we go. Your sight words for E are every, ever, 11, number 11, and, ooh, what number is this? Eight. Eight also starts with letter E. Work on your counting this week as well. Jump when you're counting. Punch the ear when you're counting. Clap your hands when you're counting. Tap your fingers when you're counting. So many ways to work on your counting. There we go. We have our E's. Every, ever, 11, and 8. Write these down. Practice them. Have mom and dad write them down and copy them. The more you write, the better you'll get. And you are all super. Keep up the great work. I will post a video about some fun E experiments that you can do at home and I'll give you a little hint these experiments have to do with an egg Woo it's gonna be so great even though we're stuck at home we could still have fun and still learn so know that I am here for you I miss you and I know that you are being super so keep making me proud and have fun catch you later bye E is for eggs. This week for fun science experiments, eh, eh, experiments, I would like you to choose a couple of eggs. Then you're going to need some gallon baggies with different materials. Now one baggie you could fill with water, another you could fill with rice, another you could fill with cotton, or maybe two slices of bread. Think of different things that you think would keep an egg protected from cracking if it fell. Then put that egg inside the bag. Take it outside in an area where it's okay if there's a big splat. Hold out your bag and drop it. And see what happens. See if your egg cracks or if it is protected by these different materials. Do you think an egg will be protected if it's in water? How about rice? How about squishy squashy cotton? Maybe some bread might keep it safe. Maybe not. Jot down what you think will keep it protected or not, and then do a check mark for what worked and what didn't. Have a great time, do it with your families, and then we can talk about it when we get back to class, hopefully next month. Have fun, and remember E is for egg experiments.